Athletic Division. Jersey's own Mike Vicenzio plans on defending his home turf as he welcomes the Czech Republic's Carlos Bevela to the UFC's middleweight division. Patterson, New Jersey's Mike Vicenzio has built a reputation in the UFC as a fighter willing to go anywhere he needs to in order to secure victory. So whether it's slugging it out with Steve Cantwell or taking it to the mat with Drew McBedrees, Vicencio is ready and able to handle himself. The same goes for Carlos Bemela, a former Czech Republic national wrestling champion who showed off his thudding punching power in a knockout of the night win over Seth Petrozelli. Tonight, these two 185-pound powerhouses will get the night off to an explosive start. Coming up next, Carlos Bemela battles Mike, the master of disaster, Masenzio. This is UFC Prelims on Fuel TV. Carlos Bemela, born in Prague in the Czech Republic, fighting out of London, England. Tonight, Joe fights for the first time as a middleweight inside the octagon and he looked shredded at the weigh-ins. Yeah, really incredible when you think about it because the first time we saw him in the octagon was actually as a heavyweight. When he fought John Madsen, he was, I, I think he was about 230, 240 pounds, somewhere around then. And uh, now he's down to 185 and really lean. I think, look, the guy was very, very strong as a heavyweight, very strong as a light heavyweight. I mean, if he can hold this weight, I mean, he looks really lean. Obviously, he's lost a lot of muscle mass as well, but I think this is a much better weight class for his frame. It's all really dependent on whether or not he made the cut healthily and uh, he can compete at this weight, you know, and, and not be weakened. But a really impressive weight drop. You know, the real story here, Joe, is Bemela is a six-time Czech Republic national wrestling champion. But in his fight in Milwaukee back in August of 2011 against Hani Marcus, he got out wrestled. And he got out wrestled because Marcus was so much larger. And that really made the mind work towards the direction of, I think I'm going to go down to middleweight and be the bigger guy for maybe the first time in his MMA career. Well, there's a lot of guys that have a lot of muscle in their frame that is unnecessary. I mean, look how muscular he is even at 185. But, well, at heavyweight, he was really almost in a build of a power lifter. Yeah. And it's great if, if you can use it for short bursts, but the reality is it's not the most effective frame to carry it in, in mixed martial arts. His opponent is New Jersey's own, Mike the Master of Disaster, Masenzio. Masenzio coming off a fight in Rio de Janeiro with Husamar Paul Harris, who will fight later tonight live on Fox. Coverage begins 8 in the East, 5 in the West. Against the talent, Alan Belcher. Masenzio happy to fight here at home, looking for his third UFC victory. He's a gamer, just like all these fighters from New Jersey are. Top blue-collar attitude. Yeah, I mean, he was submitted by Paul Harris by heel hook, but you know what? Paul Harris gets a hold of anybody's leg. You got a real big problem on your hands. Before that fight, though, that was a very quick fight. Before that fight, his victory over Steve Cantwell really impressed me, Mike, because what he showed in that fight, he showed his striking. We've always known that Masenzio is a very good ground technician, real good wrestler, real good submissions, but what he showed in the Cantwell fight was that he's really improved his striking, really improved his technique, his, his ability to dodge punches, his defense, everything about his, uh, his attack against Cantwell was much improved. So I, I was really impressed by that. I'm really looking forward to see that progress even further tonight. The master of disaster, Mike Masenzio. Man, it's amazing looking at Bemelo. He doesn't even look like the same guy. Absolutely. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Carlos Bemela fighting for the first time at 185 is 26 years old. Mike Masenzio, three years his elder. Bemela will have the reach advantage. With the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, 
fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record, nine wins, two losses, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of London, England, Carlos Babylon. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record, 13 wins, six losses, standing six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds, fighting out of Patterson, New Jersey, the master of disaster, Mike Mascencio. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee for this middleweight matchup between Carlos Vemola right, and Mike Mascencio. Let's go, fight. Here we go. Mascenzio, as Joe said, really came out and put on a striking show in his last victory in the UFC against Steve Cantwell. So he's confident with his hands. Vemola looking for the takedown. And Mascenzio gets the Very single. nice. But what a quick, quick escape and stand up by Vemola. But a good takedown attempt by Mascenzio. South Paul Mascenzio in the black trunks, white trunks for Carlos Vemola. Vemola hanging on to the front choke here. Keeping the weight on Vicenzio's neck and upper back. Snaps Good him down. Control. Yeah, very nice. Spins to the back. Decides not to go all the way around, though. Vicenzio's blocking on his left arm here. Again, Vemola very strong at 285, which is going to be ridiculously powerful down here at middleweight. The real key is how long can he hold it? You yes. know, is, uh, is, his, is his body drained and depleted by this weight cut, or did he do it intelligently? So far, Vicenzio. Back up to his feet. And Masenzio has to feel that way as well, Joe. I mean, he knows he's got to weather the early storm and try to test the cardio of Carlos Vemola. Good inside leg kick. Powerful leg kick by Vemola. I mean, his legs are just that of an NFL fullback. And they're a lot smaller than they used to be. Yeah, no kidding, right? You're, you, when you said during the walk-ins he looked like a power lifter, that's a great description. Nice knee in the clinch by Masenzio. Yeah, Vemola landed a little right. Oh, good straight left by Masenzio. Yeah, good cut again. Working right in front of our broadcast position. Masenzio showcasing his hands again. Yeah, and that's really a, a big improvement in that Cantwell fight. I mean, he had always been a good striker, but Cantwell is a very technical striker, and Masenzio really took it to him in that fight. Showed a much improved jab, much improved head movement. Take down attempt, but right into a guillotine. Got to be careful here. Ooh, that's a tight grip, Mike. That's a tight grip. Asensio trying to work his way out of it. He's, he's closing his eyes, spreading those hands apart. He's talking. Good job by Masenzio. He's tucking in that chin, slowly but surely, trying to get his head free. He's turning purple there, though. Yeah, he certainly is. He's, he's free, though. Good submission defense by Mike Masenzio. And now he has top position. That defense that really showed his experience, how he is slowly but surely. Well, you guys gotta work here, okay? Just later. And he's still trying to catch his breath now. Yeah. Well, Demo is a vice grip. That guy grabbed him over your neck. Trying to posture up. Just past the midway point of the first round. Fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. And Demo has him in the lockdown here. Holding on strong to that half guard. And that's that up. Use that, he's going to use that under. Yeah. Use that under to stand up and eat some knee in the process. The Senzo did, did a real good job of following him. And has him pinned up here against the cage in front of us. Senzo very, very aggressive in this fight. The Senzo, a two time New Jersey state wrestling champion and a national junior college wrestling champion. His only loss was to C.B. Dalloway, a UFC veteran. Nicely done with the lead left. Nice. And that straight left again finds a hole. The real improvement of the hands of Asensio is so clear. Another straight left. He's all over him too, yeah. Joe. His, his pace is relentless here in the first round. He's snapping down. He's holding on here. He may go for a gator roll, Mike. This is that the same choke that uh, it's uh, the Mark Schultz headlock. I mean, it is a choke. It's a, it's, you know, it's a, it's a front headlock, but it also is a choke as well. And that's what Matt Hughes used to put Ricardo Almeida to sleep with. 
And look at that side control by Masenzio. Masenzio really starting to take over this fight, Mike. Masenzio more than a two to one advantage in strikes so far. North Looking South to lock up the choke. Yeah. Demola spins out of trouble for now. And this explosion with Demola. Look how quickly he gets back to his feet. Just persistent with his attack in round one has been Mike Masenzio. Watch for the straight left again. Which is the signature punch that lands with the southpaw against the orthodox stance fighter. You see how clean Masenzio is throwing the strikes? Very, very little wind up. Yeah. And then Vemola is very yeah. labored as he was at 205. Big heavy slam by Vemola though. It's a good way to end the first round, Joe. Vemola with the slam late, but Masenzio was a ton of pressure in that first round. Can you still? Sit, have a seat, Mike. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Sit. I feel like. Listen. You guys. No over the middle. Take the time. Don't get caught with my screen. All right, let's take a look at the improved hand techniques of Mike Masenzio. You see his punches, they're coming, they're so short. There's no big wind-up. Everything is like from the chamber. Very, very impressed with the improvement that Mike Masenzio has shown. You know, really ever since that Cantwell fight. And here, he goes through the takedown, but he gets caught in the vice grip. Of Carlos Vemla, but was able to get himself free from it. See some damage, some swelling over the right eye of Carlos Vemla from those straight lefts of Mike Masenzio. Okay, you ready? You ready? Round two, let's go, fight. Round two. Oh, Great combination to begin the second round. That'll send a huge message early here in round two. Good right hand there by Emily. Really working towards the takedown here. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Attempt here. He's got Stop, arm in. He's using his butterfly. Vicenzio Joe is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Five of his last seven wins have come by submission. Stretch out. I want that off of you and go behind him. Punch him here and go behind him. Stretch your leg, Carlos. Punch him and go behind him. He's going for a Peruvian necktie there for a second. Couldn't quite get it. Staying heavy on the top of Masenzio. He's going to try to spin in the back. He does. Uh oh. Big power by Vemela. It's a good position for Vemela as he picks up the pace. Vemela's Looking got to the rear choke. naked. Hits oh, hands on a little bit. Wow. What a come from behind by Vemela. Carlos Vemela by submission. He wins in his UFC debut in the middleweight division. Wow, what a come from behind victory by Vemela. Oh. First fight at 185 inside the octagon and he wins by the choke. You see, as soon as Vemela got him down and then spun to the back, and you heard his corner calling out for that, he hit him with these heavy, heavy left hands. I mean, Vemla carries so much power, and then no hooks in or anything. He just got that choke and hung on, and Masenzio was forced to tap. And I think a lot of it was getting softened up by those big power punches first. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get the call to stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Carlos Vemela! All right, I'm here with the winner, Carlos Vemela. First of all, Carlos, congratulations on your victory. The first time we saw in the octagon, you were a heavyweight, now a light heavyweight, finally a middleweight. Do you think this is the weight class you're going to stick at? There's a weight class for me. That was my first test, and it worked. I'll be coming back stronger, better, fitter, stay middleweight. Well, you guys had a very tough first round. Let's take a look at the second round, though. You got him down. Now, once you controlled him on the ground and spun to the back, these heavy left hands seem to be starting off the beginning of the end for him. 
Yeah, that, that's my game, ground and pound. Once I get someone down and I get my ground and pound on, it's over. Well, congratulations on an excellent victory. Greg's great performance. Look forward to seeing you again. Carlos Vemela, ladies and gentlemen. Carlos Vemela with the victory in his UFC <laughs> middleweight debut. He wins by rear naked choke at 107 of round number two. Sorry about it, right? <laughs>